In the sprawling metropolis of Hualien, the ground trembled with ominous warnings, whispers of an ancient force stirring beneath the city's foundations. Despite the frequent tremors, life continued unabated, the city's inhabitants accustomed to the Earth's occasional shudders. Among them was Mia, a young architect who had recently moved to the city, drawn by its vibrant culture and historic charm. One fateful day, as Mia worked late in her high-rise office, the world shifted. A deep, guttural roar emanated from the Earth, a sound so primal and terrifying it seemed to freeze the air itself. The building swayed violently, windows shattering as the full might of the earthquake was unleashed upon Hualien. Panic ensued as Mia and her colleagues rushed for the exits, the building groaning ominously around them. The staircase, crowded with people, became a bottleneck of fear and desperation. Mia, her heart pounding, pushed forward, driven by the instinct to survive. Emerging onto the street, Mia was met with chaos. The city she knew was gone, replaced by a landscape of destruction. Buildings lay in ruins, streets cracked open, and the air was thick with dust and screams. Determined to find safety, Mia navigated the devastated streets, dodging aftershocks and falling debris. Her destination was clear, the city's emergency shelter, a beacon of hope amidst the catastrophe. As she made her way through the wreckage, Mia encountered others like her, survivors marked by shock and loss. Together, they formed a makeshift band, their collective will to survive stronger than any individual fear. But as they neared the shelter, the ground trembled again, a powerful aftershock that threatened to swallow them whole. The earth split open, revealing a chasm that stretched across their path, a gaping maw that seemed to lead into the very heart of darkness. Faced with this new obstacle, Mia and her companions were forced to detour, their journey taking them into the city's old quarter, a labyrinth of narrow streets and ancient buildings untouched by modernity, but not by the quake. It was here, in the shadow of crumbling facades, that they heard it, a low, rumbling sound, different from the quake's violence. It emanated from the depths of the earth, a call that resonated with the fear in their hearts. Drawn by a morbid curiosity, Mia approached the source of the sound, the ruins of an old church that had stood for centuries. The ground here was fractured, the church's foundation exposed, revealing a network of tunnels long buried beneath the city. The rumbling grew louder, more insistent, as if something within the tunnels was trying to break free. Mia, her senses heightened by adrenaline, realized too late that the earthquake had awakened something else something ancient and malevolent trapped beneath Hualien. As the darkness from the tunnel's mouth began to spill out, enveloping the ruins in an unnatural chill, Mia and her companions stood on the brink of a new horror, the true magnitude of their ordeal only just beginning to unfold. The earthquake, it seemed, was only the precursor to a deeper, more ancient terror that had been unleashed upon Hualien. As the darkness oozed from the tunnel like a living thing, Mia's mind raced with panic and disbelief. The earth trembled again, not with the aftershocks of the earthquake, but with the stirrings of the entity that had been disturbed from its ancient slumber beneath the city. The group backed away, terror etching their faces as they prepared to flee the malevolent force emerging before them. But then, from within the depths of the swirling darkness, a figure stepped forth. It was an old man, his hair white as the moonlight, his eyes gleaming with an otherworldly knowledge. He raised his hands, and the darkness receded at his command, flowing back into the tunnel like a tide being drawn back to sea. The old man turned to face Mia and her companions, his voice echoing with the weight of centuries. Fear not, he began, his tone imbued with a strange calm that quelled the panic in their hearts. What you have witnessed is not a malevolence unleashed, but a guardian awakened. The earthquake has breached the barriers that held me in slumber, protecting the city from the darkness that lies beneath. He explained that he was the last of an ancient order, custodians of a powerful seal that kept the primordial darkness at bay, a darkness that had once threatened to engulf the world in a time before history. The earthquake, though catastrophic, had served a purpose, 
awakening him to reinforce the seal and ensure the city's safety. The revelation left Mia and the others in stunned silence, their fear replaced by awe and a burgeoning sense of wonder. The old man, sensing their confusion, offered a gentle smile. Hualien will recover, as will its people. You have seen the worst, but also the best. Courage, unity, and the will to survive. These are the lights that will guide you through the darkest times. With a final nod, the old man turned and walked back towards the tunnel, the darkness swallowing him once more, leaving no trace of his presence except for the echo of his words in their minds. Mia and her companions made their way to the shelter, their ordeal over, but their lives forever changed. The story of their encounter with the ancient guardian of Hualien spread, becoming a beacon of hope amid the despair of the earthquake's aftermath. And as the city rebuilt, stronger and more united than before, the legend of the darkness beneath Hualien and its ancient protector was passed down through generations, a surprising testament to the enduring power of myth and the unseen forces that watch over us, guiding our steps through the trials of the world. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 6 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.